Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you a really cool trick I found on the OnLive Fans Forum. Uh, I was going to credit the person who came up with this, but unfortunately it looks like the OnLive Fans Forum is now the Ouya Fans Forum, and all the old topics just redirect to their main site, so I can't find the original creator. I'm sorry, but thank you for whoever came up with this because it's made my life a lot easier. Alright, so basically what this is, is if you go into Steam, I don't have all your games, and you know, there's everything that you've purchased in Steam is here. And you can add games that you didn't buy on Steam and you bought elsewhere um, using the add on Steam game. However, Oya doesn't have an EXE that you could link to, it just goes straight. I mean, on, <laughs> talking about Oya, um, OnLive doesn't have an EXE for each game, it just has one EXE for the OnLive service. And when you open that up, it just goes straight to OnLive. And this is a problem. This is a problem because if you want to add a specific game, for example, Darksiders 2, um, to Steam, you can't really do that. It's just going to open up OnLive and you're going to have to navigate to find the game again. And it's kind of a pain because then it splits your library and up into two different sections and um, it's it's really tough to kind of manage all your stuff. So we have to go to OnLive, then we have to go to My Games, and then we have to scroll through our games and wait for it to load and find the right one, like Darksiders 2 is right here, and then we can go to the game. That's not the best way to do things, and I'm going to show you a way to get around that and actually add the individual OnLive games onto Steam. And I think this is really cool. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go into your computer and find the OnLive um, EXE. Uh, the, one, one way to get here is just to go to Start, go to Computer, go to C Drive, go to Program Files, and then go to OnLive, and there's the EXE, OnLive.EXE. Um, now we're going to make a copy of this and name it as if we were naming it the game we're going to do. So this one I'm going to copy. And then I'm going to paste. And we're going to rename it to Darksiders 2. Or whatever game you want to do. I'm going to do Darksiders 2 because that's one game I know I have on online that I don't have on Steam. So here's Darksiders 2. Now if we open this, it's an exact copy of online.exe, so all it's going to do is open up the exact same way this one opens up. That's okay for now because we're going to add a super cool secret code hack that someone found and um, get it to launch Darksiders directly. So the next step is we go over here to Steam and see I have Darksiders here and right here is where Darksiders 2 is supposed to be. So let's go ahead and go to add a game right on the bottom left. We go to add a non-Steam game, and we're going to browse for the Darksiders 2 link that we just made. So we get there the same way. We go to C Drive, Program Files, scroll down to OnLive, and here's Darksiders 2. All right, so we're going to check that little box and go to Add Selected Programs, and uh, there's Darksiders 2. <laughs> it already has my. Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove this custom image. I'm going to get to that later. Um, if we go to Properties, uh, this is where we're going to have to do some editing because this is saying just open up the EXE and run it like it's supposed to run. So that's going to take us to OnLive. We want to add a little snippet of code after um, that's going to tell it to open up uh, the Darksiders game directly. And that snippet of code is right here, and I'll put it in the description as well. It's OL Games uh, colon 34 slash his question mark service path equals directory product ID launches whatever it's 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 long I'm gonna put it in the description so you can just copy paste the important part of this address is this part that I put um, brackets around it's the ID now we're gonna to have to put the ID of whatever game we're gonna use in that section right there so let's go ahead and open up uh, Chrome or whatever browser you use and we're gonna to go to games.onlive.com and we just go to the game section and we're going to look for whatever game we want to add. So in my case, Darksiders 2. And it's right here. So let's go ahead and go to see details for that game. And, you know, this is the kind of tricky part. It's, it's easy, but it's um, there's a few steps to it to add the games, but it's totally worth it. So um, the image of the game is right here. 
And there's a few different places that the ID is mentioned, but the image is the easiest one. If we right click on that and open image in a new tab, you'll see right up here is the address. And after game assets, you'll see an NA um, code. And you're just going to copy everything from the first backslash to the second one. So we highlight this whole thing. It's NA, TQ, dark side 2, blah, blah, blah. That's the ID. So we're going to right click on that and copy. Go back to our ID or our special address and replace the ID with what you just copied. Right? And I already have the link already here, but all you do is you just get rid of ID and the brackets and paste that in. And that's your working address. So we're going to copy this. Okay. So then when we go back to Steam, uh, this is the target that we're opening. It's going to open on live. And then we're going to add some quotes, paste that little code in with the ID in already, and some end quotes. And we're going to close. Now, um, instead of opening on live, this should open directly to the game. And let's give it a try. Click on play. And it's also going to let you access your Steam interface over the game, which is really cool. So it connects to on live, just like it would. Signs into the account. You see the little Steam community overlay right there. And we give it a few seconds, and it should load directly to the game without having to go through any other menus to get there. And I'm just going to let it load all the way just to make sure that it works so that I give you the right information. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting. All right, THQ. So it looks like it's loading directly into the game, which is exactly what we want. Um, so it didn't go into OnLive. It, went, it just logged you into OnLive and then went to the game. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. Now, um, you'll notice that this looks a little plain. Uh, you'll see the OnLive logo, the little icon there. and It's kind of, you know, boring. We want it to blend in with the rest of our games and, and make it look like we actually bought it in Steam or, you know, whatever. We paid for the game in OnLive. We might as well um, have it show up in our games list. So what you're going to want to do is I just went online and I looked for um, some images for the games and if we go ahead and open one of these up I have DS2 right here and preview it this is the Darksiders 2 Death Lives icon um, I think it looks pretty nice there's quite a few online uh, let me see if I could yeah the dimensions are 460 by 215 so if you're gonna make a custom icon like I had to make a few custom icons like I made one for Plex um, which is just a program that I use that's also nice to use with a controller um, you, you want to do it in 460 by 215. That's that's kind of the sweet spot on how to make it look nice. So you're going to right click on this um, icon right here and set custom image. We're going to browse to where I have those saved. And we're going to click on DS2. And now it's right there. Looks just like the Darksiders one. Looks just like we bought it in Steam. When you hit play, it's going to load directly into the game and log you into on live in the background. And uh, I think it works really great. And if you have the play pass, that's already 200 games you can have right away. Uh, if you don't have the play pass, well, then any games you purchase can go there. And even if you just have a game that you like playing the trial of, on live lets you do, I think it's 30 minute trials. So you can add in some games that have trials and play them through Steam as well. Uh, works really great. OnLive supports um, game controllers right out of the box. And so does Steam, the big picture mode. So this lets you have all your games in one spot. And I think it's really awesome. So again, this is the code up here. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this in the description so you can do this yourself. And I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. And I'll see you later. Peace.